And we welcome you to Country Preaching. Don Drake here. Good to have you. Hope you'll stay around a few minutes with us. Be our guest for Country Preaching. This is Christmas time, of course, and we have a few thoughts along the line of Christmas. Christmas is the joy of giving, of sharing, of lifting, of caring, and of being what Christ wants us to be. Christmas is giving to those who cannot give to us. It is visiting the neglected and lifting the fallen, giving hope to the hopeless, assuring victory to the defeated, living the spirit of goodwill to all mankind. Christmas is surrender of one's life to Christ in renewed dedication, making Christ the Lord of our life. Christmas is the light that burns eternally. It is a glow that warms the hearts of people wherever the message of peace on earth to man of goodwill is believed. Then somebody says, I like Christmas because it bears Christ's name, symbolizes his love, proclaims his truth, and showers his gifts upon the world. Although earthly kings ignored him, and the proud could not understand him, the common people heard him with hungry hearts and gladly received him. Christmas is love that flows from one heart to another. Here's a thought for today. Somebody says, I like Christmas because it meets my deepest needs. It cures me. It cures me of greed and selfishness fills my empty soul with peace and compassion, and renews my faith and hope in an erring world. In Luke chapter 2 and verse 10, And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Now I mentioned that uh, these words tell us why the gospel is good news. First of all, because it takes away fear. It takes away fear. And then it's good news because it brings great joy. I bring good tidings of great joy. And then it's good news because it's for everyone. It's for everyone. Everyone is included in the plan of salvation. Everyone is important. Everyone is precious to God. Every soul is going to live forever. And Jesus said on one occasion that one soul is worth more than all of the world. And the gospel is for all. You're included, friend. It doesn't matter how deep in sin you've gone. It doesn't matter how badly you've messed up your life. It doesn't matter what kind of fix you may be in today. I want to tell you, it's good news because it includes you. The gospel is good news because it emphasizes the value of an individual. For unto you is born this day a Savior unto you. You're important, friend. You're important to Jesus. He died for everyone. You know, uh, the Bible teaches that, well, Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. And uh, the gospel is for all. John 3:16 includes everybody. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, that whosoever includes you, friend, you're not left out. You're included. Jesus is for you. Heaven's for you. Salvation's for you. Joy is for you. Peace is for you. Contentment is for you. It's available, friend. If you will come to accept him, he is available for you. Then it's good news because it saves. You see, we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. In Matthew 1 and 21, And she shall bring forth a son. Thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. That's why Jesus came. He came to save from sin. And that's why it's good news, because it saves from sin. He came to seek and to save that which was lost. That's what the Bible teaches, and uh, everyone is lost, my friend. And lost means you're cut off from God. Lost means you've missed the mark. Lost means you've missed the joy and the peace and the happiness that God has for you. Being lost means 
that you're lost from happiness and lost from joy and lost from victory and lost from the excitement of serving God and lost from the contentment that God has for you, lost from the more abundant life. Lost means you're on the wrong road. You're going the wrong direction, friend. And you're going to have the wrong destiny. There's only two destinies, heaven and hell. Two divisions of eternity, heaven and hell. There's no halfway house. No, sir, there's no halfway house for the fellow. Not hardly bad enough uh, for hell. Not hardly good enough for heaven. Lost means you're cut off from God. Lost means you've missed the mark. Lost means you're on the wrong road. Lost suggests fear and wandering and searching and emptiness. And, friend, that's the fix you're in if you have not accepted Jesus. But I want to tell you today, this gospel is good news because it saves from sin, erases your past record, frees you, gives you hope of heaven, records your name in the Lamb's book of life, and makes a new creature out of you. And that's why it's good news. Don Drake here, God's way is best.